Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see date field. Okay. So as usual, let's go to models.py. Now here, I'll just alter this is employed field. Okay, I'll just alter it. And here I'm gonna add one more field. It is gonna be mm, let's say employed on equals to models dot or you can say employee joining underscore date equals to models dot date field and here this is also gonna be null equals to true and blank equals to true okay i'll just go over here clear the terminal and uh, yeah let's see this both are true right so i'll remove this both fields from the form that's why i'm doing this one okay so i'll say python manage.py make migrations and i will say migrate and i will just run the server run the server yeah once this is done let's go to forms.py i'll just remove this um salary not salary this core and m is employee field so i'll just remove that one this both three. okay and here i'll say date build now i'll just add that variable i'll just copy from the models employee joining underscore date and here i'll say forms dot date field date field that's it I'll just come copy this one, copy this variable, go to views.py. Now here we need to remove this core and the is employee field. I'll just remove this both. Now we are adding new field equals to form dot cleaned underscore data. Pass that. Now here I'll say emp underscore joining underscore date equals to employee joining date that's it the server is already up and running i'll just go to browser and run the server go to employee now here we can basically add the date okay now here we just need to pass first the widget so i'll say widget i'll say forms dot date input reload let's see what's the matter with this okay the type is text but we need to change the type to date i'll just copy this and here i'll say a double t r s equals to the dictionary and here i can say class which is going to be form hyphen control and type is going to be date okay save come over here refresh and the date field is ready so now you can just click on this icon pick up the date and you are fine let me see yeah you can also select the year okay let me write my birth rate 2000 april 21st and if i write they were she then i can give the salary and submit okay so we have error okay so yeah we are getting this error because i have missed misspelled the 
cleaned data spelling and refresh. I guess it should work now. So let's say Devashi. Then the salary and my birth date. I don't know why I'm writing my birth date. I should pick any random date, but yeah, I'll write it. Okay, and submit. Okay, MP joined it as an expected keyword. The thing is, this variable should be here, and uh, this variable should be here, and this variable should be here, and this variable should be here. <laughs> okay, so I made some mistake in this video, but don't be confused, guys. See, this particular field is the field which we are basically giving is the variable which is storing this data into this variable okay and we need to transfer this data the data in present in this variable to this variable okay and this is the field which is present in the model here okay i hope you got idea now so let's go back to the form refresh let's write they were she the salary is gonna be this this i mean any random number okay now i'll pick any random date just submit now the data has been saved in the database finally so let's go to admin panel and go to employee and here in the object you can see the score is blank and the employee is yes no anything okay and the date okay so i hope you got idea about the date field so let me see do we have more properties to understand widgets then we have label okay so i'll just write label you can basically do it by yourself see we have label initial and help text okay so if you write this initial then make sure you are writing in this particular method okay i'll just copy now I'll say initial initial this way okay save it then go back from over here just refresh see if you write this way it will it is gonna reorder it okay if I write 10 refresh you can see it is gonna reorder it but when you will save then it will save in this format as you have seen over here okay here the thing is it is saving in mmdd yy yy but when you will hit on submit button it will save in yy yy then mmdd okay so i hope you got idea about this one so this is it for the date fill so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are gonna see date time so yeah, I will see you next one. Thank you.